Peter Lydes back with you. This is Wednesday, June 10th. We've been gone almost a week. I think the last update we did was last Thursday. A lot of things to discuss today, a lot of changes that are going to be made in these presentations over the next several days, uh, and we'll give you, all of you, the opportunity to take advantage of them or not, as you so choose. Uh, let's start out by talking a little bit about what the progression of the updates is going to be from this point. We will be doing our regular update this evening, Wednesday, and a regular update again tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, um, going over the markets. Beginning on Friday, the updates will be on our website only. Now, there are a few qualifications for, for that. Number one, they're going to end up being paid updates on the website, but you will have an opportunity, as you did here, for a 14-day free trial. So you can get that free trial of 14 days through the website, stockmarketcycles.com. Go to the website and all the information will be there. Again, for the first two weeks, for the first 14 days, you can get these video updates absolutely free. After that, you have to make a decision as to whether you want to continue with them or not. Uh, if not, then there will, you ask, will there still be YouTube updates? Yes, there will, but in fairness to people that are paying for the updates on the website, they're going to be sparse. They may be two or three a month, I would say, at the most. I don't think we'll even do one a week. But there will be one every week and a half to two weeks, and probably on the order of three free updates on YouTube through the month. You're obviously not going to be able to catch up with the intricacies of the projections and only three updates, and that's why we like to try and make it more valuable for those who are paying for the updates. All the information is on the website. I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's $59 for one month of all the updates in the month. And there's also a bundle package where you can get the software and the update. By the way, the software is not yet available on the website, so don't make that mistake. If you buy it, you can buy the software or lease it through the website, but you still need to have the TradeStation application as of now. That's hopefully going to change within a few months where you'll be able to do everything on the website. So those are the technicalities, most of them anyway. I don't know if I've gone over everything. So tonight's update, Wednesday, is free update on YouTube. Thursday nights will be a free update on YouTube. Beginning Friday, you can still get free updates for a couple of weeks, video updates, but you'll have to sign up for them on the website. There's a 14-day free trial prior to signing up for the purchase of those updates if you choose to do so. Okay, I think we've covered most of the territory. Whatever we have not covered, I will cover over the next few days. Let's take a look at the markets. This is our little baby here. Now, you know, on April 23rd, I showed the chart of Tesla, and I said to people, this is not a recommendation. I don't want you to think I'm asking you to go out or recommending you go out and buy uh, Tesla calls, although <laughs> some gentleman actually wrote down that same evening, if you want to go back and look at the remarks, I went out and bought them today. I went out and bought my Tesla calls. I guess it's someone that had a lot of faith in the projection software. In any event, we have not done that much individual work with individual stocks. And so I had no way of saying to you, hey, I think there's a very good uh, chance that these projections will be made. I felt there was a good chance, but I was not going to try and sell that idea to you simply because we did not have enough information. But look what's happened since then. The projection called for, this was given back on April. We gave it to you on April 23rd, a uh, move of up to 1919.34 and 1104.57. Today, Tesla moved above 1000 for the first time in its history and closed at 1950. So let's show this to you on the web chart because it it even looks a little prettier there, I think. So this is Tesla on the web chart. Now mind you, 
Look at this projection. This projection was virtually perfect too. The downside projection on Tesla called for 299.01 to 364.01. And then, of course, we had this move. The 23rd is right in here. So on this day right here is where you gave you the projection up into this box. And today's move of, well, however big a move it was, um, the close today, from the, the, from the date that we gave you the projection to the close today, Tesla is up 44.8%. Again, we're not going to toot the horn and say, boy, look what you could have done, because it's not fair to do that. Unless we said you have to run out and get these options or buy the stock or whatever. Just another example as to how we hope in real time you will be able to take advantage of this software with individual stocks and with market indexes. Okay, that's it for Tesla. Now let's take a look at some of the market indexes with this same offset. This is a five-week offset. You'll note up here, 24.2 to 27.6. That's the daily offset that's involved. So now, if we take a look at, let's go, you know what, let's be a little conservative and go to the daily projections on a closing basis, okay? And this is the S&P cash on a closing basis. Here's the March 23rd low right down here. And this is where we crossed. And again, let's take a look at the web chart because this looks pretty messy in here. If we go to the web chart, we'll get a clearer picture of this. And as you can see, let's move this over some so you can see the low also. Here's the low on March 23rd. Here's where we broke above. Now again, picture this continuum. This is all the offsets between 24.2 and 27.6 and where was the lowest point that the offset would have been crossed and what was the highest point. Uh, and I think you can see that by looking at this continuum. And those offsets would have given a projection on the S&P cash to between 33.02.24 and 35.11.72. I think this is the most conservative upside projection on the S&P, and for that reason, in fact, what I should do is put a closing price chart up here. For that reason, I would be very, very surprised if we get some kind of market turn or even an important market top without getting closing prices into this box. The intraday prices are a little bit higher. I don't know if I wrote them down or not. Um, I don't think I have them written down. But the intraday prices are a little bit higher. These are the closing prices, 3302.24, 3511.72. And things are getting a little gamey now in the market. The sentiment is getting pretty bullish. A lot of people are convinced that the worst is over and we're going to do nothing but go up from here on in. Remember... We were telling you that back in April here when everyone else in the world was bearish. Now, I won't say everyone in the world is bullish, but we're getting our share of bulls and a lot of them recently. So even despite that, I would say there's a really good chance of getting at least into this projection window, which implies a close of at least 3302.24 on the S&P cash. So that's where we stand on this Wednesday. It's nice to be back with you again. Remember again, this update tonight and Thursday evening are free updates on YouTube. From that point on, the YouTube updates will only be two to three or four at the most per month. And the daily updates will be on our website, stockmarketcycles.com. Stefan, by the way, Stefan Schurman, our little German wizard programmer, um, has worked on the website. He's the one that's done all the work. So I would encourage you to go there. And there's a lot of free information there. You do have to register by giving your email address, but there's absolutely no expense involved. Go to the website and look at all the additional information that you can find there. So that's it for our update today. We will be on again tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow evening.